we're here to dedicate uh, a, a public river access on the French Broad. And uh, just the fact that we're down here, yeah, let's, uh, the river needs applause. This is what Riverlink started in the red with uh, Gene Webb Park uh, down at Haywood uh, Bridge, with uh, French Broad River Park, with uh, the parks along Amboy Road, and now we're all going north toward Madison County. Yes, Madison County. And uh, that's, the, that's a beautiful part of the river, and uh, this is sort of the first venture from the city to its neighbors, Woodfin and beyond. What a cool thing that's going to happen, like public access to this river. Again, X number of years ago, not that long ago, nobody would be on the river, right? Um, dirty, yucky. Now you go across 240, you look down at the river, and you can, you can see that they're probably jumping from one craft to the next. Uh, so... But so this is really like an amazing partnership and really great work that especially River Link has done. And Talk about the history of this site right here, because we're standing on history. In uh, the decade, the first decade of the 20th century, this was one of the most popular spots in Asheville. Riverside Park. Uh, the developers put in a boathouse, a carousel. They put in a movie screen that you could not see unless you were floating on the French Broad River. In 1915, uh, a lot of it burned. Fires were uh, prevalent then. A lot of things made out of wood. Worst problem a year later. Think about it, 100 years ago, 1916, what happened? The great flood of 1916, two hurricanes converged. Riverside Park was literally washed away. So no more Riverside Park, and then for about uh, uh, until uh, 1970, I'd say 50 or 60 years, uh, we had the dark days of this site. Uh, this site became part of a huge landfill for the city and Buncombe County. Fortunately, with the passage of the Clean Water Act in 1972, things began to change. And by 2011, uh, Riverlink had already done a lot of work and the city had done a lot of work uh, in the River Arts District, wanted to move north a little bit uh, to extend this toward Madison County, and here we are at the Pearson Bridge, the bridge to Richmond Hill, over to West Asheville. Riverlink decided to purchase it. The only structure on this property was a tire store, falling down tire store. There was a big challenge to renovate it. Four entities came to the rescue, named on, on a new sign over there, and this is the essence of economic development, one business at a time. Uh, Calvin Coolidge said the business of America is business. He was right. And there is no reason, absolutely no reason, that economic development and environmental development can't go hand in hand. You save the environment, you put in place the conditions that are necessary for economic growth. I think the other thing that characterizes this community is if you just try hard enough for long enough, you can do anything. I've been so inspired by Riverlink. It's been really a pleasure for the Tourism Development Authority to be able to partner on this project. Um, the funding is available from our Tourism Product Development Fund. And when people come to Asheville and stay overnight um, in hotels, they pay an occupancy tax. And we reinvest uh, most of that into marketing that brings more customers to our community to support our local businesses. And as we are able to grow that pool of resources, the Tourism Product Development Fund gets bigger too and enables us to do these kinds of great projects for the community. You know, our money has been able to uh, facilitate projects that are fun for the community, enhance the quality of life for people who um, live here and also help to make Asheville a better place to visit. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three.